Geographic Information Systems Technology, or GIS, is a powerful tool for helping planners make smarter decisions about our urban environments. Hi there, I'm Mike Ernst, and I'll be your instructor for these series of GIS courses. The easiest way to think of GIS is to view it as an integrated system of components. GIS includes information about the real world that has been simplified and abstracted into a digital database, including spatial and non-spatial features. GIS is also the hardware and the software that allows for the analysis of the data. Finally, GIS also includes the user, who uses their expert judgment to produce solutions to spatial problems. That last piece, the user, sometimes that's left out of definitions, but really it's the most important part. The software isn't going to produce the answers without the expertise of you, the user. At the heart of GIS are maps. Maps are abstractions or simplifications of the real world that are indispensable in the field of planning. Maps are critical to helping planners understand and analyze the existing urban environment and plan for the future. Planners don't only map physical things like buildings and streets, but we also have to represent elements that are a little less permanent, like demographic data. These different kinds of maps, reference maps versus thematic maps, are both important tools for planning. ArcMap is pretty straightforward at creating both of these kinds of maps, though there are some particular things you need to be aware of. In this course, we'll cover the difference between reference maps and thematic maps, and we'll talk about qualitative versus quantitative maps and data classification. We'll also cover a variety of map types like dot density maps, choropleft maps, and proportional symbol maps. 